We'll be right back. Governor McGreevy's bombshell, next on Eyewitness News. Reaction to the announcement on his sexuality and his political future. Plus, a deadly accident. An elevator rockets out of control in Times Square. And storms hammer the south. Is heavy rain headed our way? I'm Diane Sawyer. I'll see you tomorrow on Good Morning America, and we hope you have a great night. News Now, the groundbreaking new video news service delivered directly to you in a whole new way, 24-7, on digital broadcast TV and cable, on your computer, even your cell phone. To find out how to get ABC News Now, go to abcnews.com. This time they have wins. Jurassic Park 3, ABC Monday, 9, 8 Central. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Scott Clark with sports, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. A political bombshell. Given the circumstances surrounding the affair, I have decided the right course of action is to resign. New Jersey's governor makes a stunning admission. I am a gay American. From what's next to voter reaction, we have complete coverage of James McGreevy's resignation. Good evening. I'm Tim Fleischer. Bill is off tonight. And I'm Liz Cho. We begin tonight with that personal and political drama, and it unfolded in unprecedented fashion. Amid rumors, Governor McGreevy announced his intensely personal decision on national television today. With his wife by his side, the governor announced he is gay, that he had an affair with a man, and that he would resign November 15th. At a point in every person's life, one has to look deeply into the mirror of one's soul and decide one's unique truth in the world. And so my truth is that I am a gay American. I am also here today because shamefully, I engaged in an adult consensual affair with another man, which violates my bonds of matrimony. It was wrong, it was foolish, it was inexcusable. I realize the fact of this affair and my own sexuality, if kept secret, leaves me, and most importantly, the governor's office, vulnerable to rumors, false allegations, and threats of disclosure. Given the circumstances surrounding the affair and its likely impact upon my family and my ability to govern, I have decided the right course of action is to resign, to facilitate a responsible transition. My resignation will be effective on November 15th of this year. That resignation and the governor's startling revelation took many people by surprise, feeling its impact perhaps the strongest are the staff and cabinet members who were closest to the governor and his constituents. We have several reports. Reaction to these events from Jeff Rossin and Jen Maxfield. We begin with Jen. Tim, today's breathtakingly personal resignation caps a summer of political turmoil. Two of the governor's top fundraisers are accused of bribery, but it appears to be an upcoming accusation against the governor himself that prompted him to go public with the private details of his secret life. It makes little difference that as governor, I am gay. Governor fact, McGreevy comes out of the closet, announcing that he has had sexual feelings identity. towards men for my decades, feelings he says he tried to repress as a teenager in an Irish Catholic home and later as a husband and father, feelings the governor says he acted on when he had an affair with another man. It was wrong. It was foolish. It was inexcusable. And for this, I ask the forgiveness and the grace of my wife. The governor's heartfelt confession moved members of his staff and his cabinet to tears. Many had just a couple hours notice that he was stepping down. I think this was a shock to uh, most of the state and particularly to his staff. The governor's revelation into his private life and his decision to resign on November 15th appears to be a preemptive strike. 
As early as Friday, New Jersey's former Homeland Security Director, Golan Chappelle, is expected to file a lawsuit accusing the governor of sexual misconduct. The sordid details likely to accompany the lawsuit have Republicans pushing now. McGreevy to uh, resign just, now. And given his the situation he's in and under these circumstances, he's just not going to be able to effectively govern the state of New Jersey. For the past month, some New Jersey Republicans have been questioning whether McGreevy would make it to the end of his first term. In July, two of the governor's top fundraisers were indicted on charges of bribery and extortion. While the governor was never charged, he admits was, he was secretly recorded you know, as part of the, the federal government. corruption probe. From a political uh, level, the sharks are circling the water. They smell the blood. Um, and, and, you know, that political dance uh, has already begun. Close friends and McGreevy advisors praised the governor's openness, and some even hinted that we may not have seen the end of Governor McGreevy's political career. But it was his finest day, and he's had a lot of things to be proud of. But today he showed his true character, and uh, I think all of us are very proud of the man that he showed he was. When the governor left the state house here today, he said he was going to spend time with his family, including his wife and mother, both of whom were with him when he made that announcement today. When the governor steps down on November 15th, New Jersey Senate President Richard Cody will take over as governor until New Jersey voters choose a new governor on Election Day 2005. That's the latest live in Trenton, New Jersey. I'm Jen Maxfield, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jen, thank you. Disbelief. That's how many in New Jersey reacted today when they heard the governor's announcement. Jeff Rawson is in Hobo with more from voters. Jeff? Now, Liz, it is the beauty of politics in the United States of America. Voters usually have the final say. I say usually because this is not a normal circumstance. Usually, if you don't like the governor, you don't vote for him. But this time, voters won't get that chance. I was in total shock. I was like, you know, come on, you're the governor. You're supposed to represent them, New Jersey. In Secaucus, it's dinner talk. I think he should resign right now, you know, so at least we could have an election in November. Would you have voted for him again? No, no. Because of this? Because of this, yes. It's like throwing up your hands and giving up and saying, okay, I'm just going to go and do, live my own life, whatever. And after people voted for you and supported you, I think that's wrong to do that. In East Rutherford, shoppers are talking about it. It's just personal matter to me. If you are gay or not or straight or...